Welcome to the Fate Store. Yeah. Oh. Oh no, no. This is this is actually not my pet. It looks like a what? A Zenwu? Um. Yeah. From from Mishnok. Okay. I I I haven't. I've heard it's beautiful. I've heard it's beautiful, but I can't travel there. No, that with. Well, with the ocean being lava, it's not very relaxing to swim in if you're a human, so... all oh, the beaches? Yes, they are nice, but then... You, well, you, you have those little... They, they look like crabs. What are they called? Um, kecks. Yes, the little kecks. Yes. They, 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 they love human flesh. So it's really... You can either be eaten alive or jump in the lava. So, you know, the vacation destination list is is long but that that one tends to be at the bottom for most humans because it's it's just not very relaxing <laughs> so welcome to the feet store it is a pleasure to have you here have a seat um pull up two or three you can drape your tail right there you can just set it there yeah any anywhere is fine oh wash the trash can Ooh. <laughs> it's i'll get it later don't worry about it i'm gonna put this away um Yes, my, my name is Mary. Is there anything I can help you with today? What brings you into the feet store? Oh, that's no problem. Absolutely, I think we could help you out, definitely. Now, as a reminder, I do like to point this out. Um, this is not a restaurant, okay? We do not have like a, a the all-you-can-eat bar here. I just always have to make it clear that there is no sampling. Okay, so if you see anything tasty, just remember it's it's orthotics. It's not meant to, you know, because we have had some incidents in here. And I'm going to tell you, if another Galgan comes in here and tries to sample a customer's feet, I, I'm running out of hand sanitizer and fire extinguishers. I can't keep doing this. You know, it's it's more than my job's worth to have to use the jaws of life to get somebody's foot out of their orifices. Yeah, it, it, well, they have so many, and some of them are more pleasant than others. Some have teeth, some have other things, and the plasma. My God, the plasma, it goes everywhere. It's very slippery. Yeah, and sometimes you think you got it all, but then it sort of starts to get dark outside, and it glows, and it's very embarrassing for customers to see that. So I like for the Golgan to come in, but I always have to remind them. I know you're not a Golgan, but I just always have to remind them. There's no sampling, no tasting. This is not a restaurant. This is for making your feet feel good. And we're all about making your feet feel good. <laughs> That's our job. Yes. Um, so what, what brings you here to Earth? How, do you, how are you finding Earth? It is a little weird at the moment. Yeah, yeah, the current year is a little weird. I, yeah, I hear that a lot. I hear that a lot. Um, are you... I'm trying to, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Are you, are, are you from Uranus? F where? Fenrobi. Fenrobi? The Fenrobi Nebula? <gasps> How about that? Oh my goodness. Well, that is wonderful. Um, let me let me get some information about you. Do you mind? Now, what was, your name is Florbo. Florbo, that's beautiful. It's so nice to meet you. Um, when you greet someone, do you shake any? Oh, don't shake that. Do you? Well, you know, with humans, we do have the custom of shaking hands. Have you ever, have you seen humans do that? Oh no, that's punching. Well, that's, okay, well, if you were in Costco at Christmas, that's, I understand thinking that that's how humans greet one another, but no, um, it's actually different. So it's just forget everything you learned at Costco during Christmas season. Just forget that because that's, that's not ideal human behavior. <laughs> we don't strive for that. Shaking hands is where you see I'm a human and I have a hand right here. This is the hand. I don't want to, I don't need any meat tenderizer. Have a napkin. You're drooling a little bit from your second mouth. There you go. Okay, now Florbo, this is a hand. And so like say I'm greeting someone, it's kind of hard to shake your own hand, but 
So one person takes his hand and they, they hold them together and they do like this. And while they have eye contact and they will usually say something like, it's nice, nice to meet you. My name is, you know, and it's nice to meet you. And they do a brief little shake like that. Do you have any customs like that? Hmm. No, uh, we, no, typically we don't exchange bodily fluids until later on in the relationship, depending on how things go. That's not something most of us do right off the bat. Unless we do it without meaning to, but we don't like, we don't strive for that initially. Well, it is very nice to meet you, Florbo, and I know you've traveled a long way to be here. Um, who? Funo? Funo? came in here. Um, not that I recall. Not that I recall. Okay. Oh, she's your girlfriend. Okay. Nice. So we helped her. Okay. Wonderful. So did she explain any of the process to you? No. All right. Well, that's totally fine. So I would like to get some information on you initially, just to kind of get you into our system here. I have my keyboard. I'm going to show you this so you will understand. Oh, it's not alive. No, this this is this is called a keyboard, and we use this to input information. You see this right here, this screen. We use this to put information into the computer. Yes, we, we haven't we haven't evolved the stuff that you guys have. I I know, I know. Well you know, with all due respect, Florbo, um when when you come to Earth, we, we don't take too kindly to being, you know, reminded how it's much better where you came from. It it comes off as kind of rude and and we may not say anything, but we just kinda wanna drop kick your ass back there. So I just wanted to say that. I mean, I, I do understand that, you know, you have those strips and the things that float and you, and, right, I can never remember what they're called. The covats, co 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 covats, you have covats and we, you know, we are nowhere near as advanced as you. I guess it is like traveling back in time to come to earth. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe one day you'll have a Costco there. I mean, they are expanding. <laughs> They're, they've made it all the way to Vegas. You probably know. Did you see that in the intergalactic news? That they just opened, they just opened up in Vega. Yeah, it's really great. It's really great. So let me, let me back into this now. I'm going to go into my keyboard here. Now, you'll be able to see the screen up here. Can you see this? All right. We're going to go to, I'm going to start here. Great. Now, can you spell your name for me? And I need the Earthling spelling. I do not have special characters. Remember, when you went through when you went through the training and everything before you came to Earth, they explained the alphabet to you. That we do have these numbers here, and you can combine these numbers to make larger numbers. Mm -hmm. But okay, yeah, I I know it's very rudimentary. We know, but. You know, here on Earth, this is just what works for us at this particular period in time. So we just have to work within this framework, okay? We have our letters down here and our numbers up here. And we don't need to worry about these function keys up here. They're not going to play into this at all. This is just basic data entry. Okay? Great. So if you will give me the Earthling spelling of your name, I'm going to put in that first. Your first name? Your last name? Smickle, Smickle Bothrin? Oh, sorry. Smick, Smickle Bot, Smickle Bothrin? I don't know how to pronounce things with the front of my throat. See, well, it's different for you because you have four. I mean, you are able to go from one to the other, and I'm very jealous because, you know, I. I, I, I am familiar. I am familiar with the, the Finruby Nebula and the way you guys sing. It's beautiful. It's so, oh, you know, talk about throat singing. It is amazing. You know, we earthlings cannot compare. We just have the one. But with four, it's just, it's like your own little quartet. It's, it's beautiful. So it's very difficult for humans to pronounce some of the things that, that you 
are able to say so we have to just do the best we can so let me let me try again uh smickle smickle bothrin oh you're too kind i appreciate it i i try okay if you would give me the earthling spelling of that does that look right that doesn't look right yeah thank you <laughs> now i do need your address but no 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 not not the Finrovi address because we need a local address of where you're staying here oh is that right okay i never thought about that that's a good point um they do have a large elevator yeah well i can see you do have a lot of tail yes yes you uh you don't have to get a lot of tail you already have a lot <laughs> i'm sorry that was a terrible joke so what is the name of that hotel i'm not familiar with where is that I should know that. That's not far from here. I'm making it sound like it's on Venus or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. And do you happen to know the street address? Okay. In that city. Perfect. Do you have a phone number? Oh, no. Okay. Um, well, we won't worry about that right now. We won't worry about the email. Do you have an email address? Oh, you do? Okay. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. I, I, I love, I love it. Out of this world. At. Beautiful. I love that. All right, so are you here on earth on business or pleasure? A little bit of both. So is, is Funo still here? Okay. Working at Waffle House? That's fantastic. I love Waffle House, although I have to admit, I spent a lot more time there in the, you know, at 3 a.m. in college than I have since. I, I admittedly, I've only been to Waffle House maybe once since I graduated college. I was there a lot though, <laughs> for a couple of years there about 3 a.m. It gets crazy in there at night. What? Huh. Well, having a built-in pickaxe, I can see where that would be very handy working at Waffle House. You can double it as a spatula? Wow. She sounds very talented. Yeah, that's great. So are you planning on staying here long term? Well, then that would make sense. You know, the gravity difference is amazing. It's, yeah, you wouldn't think it would make that much difference, but you come here and the gravity is definitely, I, yeah, it's very different. So, um, so Finerobi, um, which, which part are you in? Okay. Yeah. The, the gravity there, it's almost like everything is spongy, isn't it? Okay. So I guess you come here to earth. Everything feels extra rough on, on your, on your little little feet there. Yeah. You, mm -hmm. Your pods. You call them pods. Okay, your pods. I can, yeah, I see that. But I can see where it would be very uncomfortable on the pods. Well, I definitely think at the feet store we can help you out. You know, we're here to help everyone. We want everyone to be comfortable and have happy feet, happy pods, you know, what it, whatever it is that you move around on. We even we even have things for the giant slugs, but we have to special order those. Yeah, it's basically like a big sled or something on a slip and slide. Yeah. Um, no, I don't, I don't have any. I had a floor model, but it was stolen. Yeah, you wouldn't think slugs could move fast, but this one, I don't know. It was something that was from Tron Walto and, you know, that, well, everybody on Tron Walto goes fast. I don't know what it is. It's like they're all on fire. They are on fire? I might explain why they move so fast. If I was on fire, I'd probably speed up too. <laughs> all right, floor boat. Wonderful. So, um, I wanted to say that we don't, okay, we do have snacks if you want a snack. Now, I know, 
I know on Finn Ruby, I know what you guys like, and I just happen to have one left. You are lucky to come in here when you did. Well, let me get it for you. There you go. Nice, good, huh? Yes, wonderful. I have to ask you this. What kind of lifestyle do you live, Florbo? Would you consider yourself to be active or more sedentary? Do you, do you run around a lot? You bounce a lot? Really? Hmm. Okay. Which, uh, which pods do you bounce on? Because I'm counting. Hold on. Let me see. That is one thing I need to put into your profile, actually, while I'm thinking about it. How many pods do you have? Six. Great. Now we'll let you know at the feet store. We do char charge by foot. No, not by the foot. By foot. So if you have two feet, like if you're a human being, you know, or the, the Mickle Vols, you have two feet, we're going to charge you for two. But you have six pods, we're going to have to charge you for six. So, but you do just you anything more than two you do get a, a considerable discount per foot after two so we're not going to charge you the same amount per foot that we would just for the two so we take off 50 percent per foot after that so it's not as bad as it sounds so it's going to be okay all right six pods fantastic okay um, now, I am not really familiar with how pods work, I have to admit. I learn something new in this job every day. <laughs> so, uh, all right, Florbo, so explain this, explain this pods thing to me. Uh, let me see if I got this right. You use different pods for different activities. How do you decide which pods to use? That is interesting. So, you're saying... And I didn't see you come in, so I'm, I apologize. I did not see this myself, but you only use two pods at a time. Okay. And different pods are, they're specialized for different activities. So are you saying you do two pods at a time for different activities? Interesting, interesting. I, I am not, I've not yet run across, um, any anyone from anywhere that does that typically everyone uses all the feet at the same time that's crazy yet well you know um who, who are they that the smirch the smirchy bows the smirchy bows you know they grow they grow new feet they don't call them feet though what are that what do they call them bickle wangs bickle wangs they grow bickle wangs and they come out of the back, they kind of like shoot out the back where the feathers are, and they move forward. It's almost like shark's teeth. And as they, as the, the front ones kind of wear down, they disintegrate and the new ones move forward. It's just like shark. You're, if you may, have you ever heard of sharks? No, not, not card sharks. No. I know humans are confusing. I know the, the animal, the sharks, you know, in the ocean. No, we don't have lava here. It's it's just water. It's just H two O. Yeah, we sh don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. So they actually have these little feet thing that come forward, and so they constantly have these new new feet kind of rotating through. But what we found with them when we fit them with orthotics is that the new ones are basically carbon copies of the old ones. So once you have your orthotics fitted to the ones in the middle, because the ones in the middle are the ones that get the most use, once you get them fitted to those orthotics, the new ones coming in are exactly the same. And you can just slip them right on there. So you don't have to get fitted every time you get some new ones, get your new feet. So it's, it's really kind of a one and done sort of thing. They just have to remember to move, you know, keep them moving to different appendages. Yeah, so, but that's something that the customer, you know, I guess you just get used to it. You know, it's just like everything else. You just kind of become accustomed to what you have to do. Yeah. All right. So, I'm, I'm going to ask, I'm just going to have to ask you to tell me which pods are for which. Okay. So, 
If you would just kind of stand for me a little bit, just rise up. Oh, not that part, honey. No, no. <laughs> your whole body. Thing. No, you can shift your tail. Just kind of push it over there. If those chairs are bothering you, you can just move on. Or okay. All right. So I'm gonna. We're gonna make little impressions of your pods. Okay. I'm gonna put some papers on the floor, and there's going to be a little bit of ink. I'm gonna have you press. On. I'm going to put your pit foot, your pod on the paper, press on the thing, and make a little impression. Okay, we're going to do that. And then I'm going to put them right here, and I'm going to use those to determine the orthotics that you need. So here's your paper. I'm going to put that there. Now just put your first two pods there. Just, you can put them down at the same time, and just press evenly. Kind of even? Okay. Now, I'm going to put down fresh paper. I need the next two. So, if any shifting that you need to do, I'm going to put these papers here. And go ahead and just evenly press the next two. I think that'll do it. Now, that looks good. So, and we're going to do the last two, the ones in the back, okay? I know it's a little awkward. I know, but... We're going to just keep these on file so we will see what the impressions look like now and then you come back in two months and we'll do it again and we'll see if they've changed any. Okay, here's your papers for the last two. This will be really quick. Okay, and just press evenly. You can expel that one long if you need to. It's just, there's a waste basket over there. You can just kind of, yeah, just one second. Let me get these papers. Okay, you can <laughs> No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Do you need a tissue or hand wipe or hand sanitizer or oh you don't have hands, yeah, that's good. Do you, do you need um phalange sanitizer? I don't really know. It disintegrates your skin. Oh I'm sorry. I didn't well we definitely don't want to use that. I keep forgetting not everyone can use it. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Now I'm going to leave these here. These are going to go into a little paper file that I'm going to start for you. And uh, when you come back in two months after you've been wearing your little inserts, inserts, will that say, okay, are you familiar with the concept of shoes? Right, okay, yes. Well, this is an example of a pair of human beings shoes. No, not everybody wears these. Um, well, that's okay if you think they're ugly. I can tell you personally, they're very comfortable. Uh, these are J Sport shoes, and I'm just showing you these as an, this is just an example. So what we do is, see this is the inside of the shoe here. There's a little insole in here that came with the shoe. You can actually just reach in there and Pull it out like that, see? And our little insert is going to go inside the shoe. And this will not be a part of it anymore. We actually have our own insole that goes in over top of the insert. So it's it's a it's a whole it's a whole thing. <laughs> well that's true. Um we actually do have an adhesive system for that. So if you, and we, we do have customers who don't wear shoes, and that's totally fine. You know, if you, if you have a slime-based method of transportation like the slugs do, um, that's okay. That's okay, because thanks to the miracle of science, we have ways to attach stuff for you. It's the magic of Velcro. This is special Velcro. This is all the way from Saturn. Isn't it beautiful? Well, there used to be cars here called Saturn, but they were not from Saturn. Yeah, I don't think they make them anymore, though. Yeah, I... No, I'm not sure why they stopped making them. I guess the company just ceased to exist. I don't actually know. I haven't really thought about that. But look at this. 
we can attach the inserts to your pods with Velcro. And depending on the size of your pods, I have larger pieces here. Now this is two-sided with that special adhesive right here that even attaches to plasma and mucus. And we have these smaller attachments here. If you can tolerate uh, water, they can be removed with water. Um, okay, um, methane. I don't know about methane. Um, you might be able to get away with some hydrogen peroxide, perhaps. Okay, yeah, it makes you drunk. Would you absorb it through your pods if we applied it there to remove these? Because it would be very quick. It would be like just a shot glass. Okay, well, I, well, I mean, it's just, it's going to be very brief, so I don't think it would be enough to get you drunk. You're not driving, are you? Okay, you, you. You teleport. I am so jealous. Every time I get to meet an entity that can teleport, I'm so jealous. No, I just have an Ultima. It's nowhere near as fun as teleportation. I did see the fly. Yeah, I saw that movie. Yeah. Didn't think about that. That would actually be pretty terrible. Brundle fly. Nobody should ever do that to Jeff Goldblum. That's a crime. <sighs> Sorry, what was I saying? Yes, these are great. These are great. And I think they will absolutely work on those pods. But, I'll show you what we would do if you were human. Look at this. These are our special inserts right here. And they have a little pad right here for the big toe that keeps everything nice and aligned. This is going to go on top of the inserts if you were to wear a shoe. You get these little inserts for your shoe. Funo had those. Okay, so Funo wears shoes. Do you have special shoes for pods? She has elongated pods. Okay. I guess a shoe would fit better on a... Okay. So, but can you get shoes? Would you be interested in, in doing shoes? Um, we do have the Intergalactic Shoe Store uh, a, few, a few stalls down. It's in the same little strip mall here. Yeah. Well, you might want to go check them out. But we have this little arch activator. Right here, it's an arch activator. And it will help your arch. So not only do you get help from the inserts, you get help from the insole on top of the inserts. And we can totally have these custom made to any shape to conform to your pods if you do ever choose to go with shoes. And that way, you would not have to deal with the Velcro anymore. And some customers do say that the Velcro is less comfortable. Um, and some there are some entities that the sound of Velcro causes them to spontaneously combust. And it's very unfortunate because when it comes to customer retention, if you have a lot of spontaneous combustion, it tends to cut down on your repeat customers, which is bad. So we always recommend shoes to our customers because we don't want to see you burst into flames. And we like to have you come back. So it's like a win-win for everybody. <laughs> Look how flexible they are. Is this appealing to you at all? No, you wouldn't want to eat these. No, they, they probably taste terrible. I wouldn't try it. All right, um, let me measure your pods really quick, okay? Now, in a lot of shoe stores, you know, they have that little thing. If you've seen humans do it. Oh, you've seen Married with Children. Okay, yeah. Not all shoe salesmen are, are as, you know, <laughs> tired and cranky as Al Bundy. But if you did you see that he ever measured anybody's foot? Yeah, don't pay attention to what he said to the customers. It was pretty, pretty bad. Um, so they have this little thing that, that humans would put their feet in to measure the length and the width of, width of the feet. But we find there are customers being from all over the universe that sometimes those just don't work. We find that a tape measure fits better um, because we need to measure length, width, height, uh, moles, bumps, growths, you know, second bodies. We have all kinds of things that we have to measure and we do find that a tape measure is better. All right, if you would just lift up, if you can just bring, I've got a little stool here. If you 
give me your pods. I'm going to measure around and I'm going to get the height too. Let me get into where I can enter this information. So we have pods one and two. These are, okay. How do you remember that? Never mind, never mind. Okay, so I'm going to go around. Hold still. Sorry if that tickles. Oh, it's breaking you out in a rash. I'll be quick. That's the circumference. And a half the length. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. And you can shimmy around a little bit this way. Let me get the second set, okay? Circumference. stand nice and, you know, just have them kind of, yeah, like, you know what I mean, nice and even. And then five and six. I need the last set. I'm going to come around to the circumference. Oh, no, the, only a cuff, uh, only a couple of them seem to have pus in them. I'll get that in just a second. Don't put I'm used to pus, it's okay. I think I've developed an immunity to any um, intergalactic uh, cooties by this point. <laughs> no offense, but mm, mm, there are some things even Purell can't help. <laughs> okay, let's just get the length and the width. Did you know that your back pods are wider than the rest? Just a little, just, there's a minor difference. The other two are kind of similar. The back two are a little bit wider. That's very interesting. Oh, it runs in your family. Okay. Well, that makes sense then. She likes them. Okay. That's cute. I like that. Okay. So I have taken my measurements now of your pods. That is wonderful. Now, if you are ready to see our system, we do have a system. We are very proud of it. <laughs> it's web-based. Yes, I'm going to run to the back and I'm going to grab one that would be perfect for your situation. Now, we do have different systems that are tailor-made to different creatures from different parts of the universe. I have one that is absolutely perfect for you. So, if you would mind just a moment while I run to the back, um, while I'm gone, just to keep you occupied, you can watch this tape. All right, I have your system here. If you do choose to work with us, you would be receiving this feet store three-step system right here and don't mind the fact that these are all humans because these are good for anyone okay even even you Florbo even you because we can have these custom made to fit your pods we absolutely would and I'm going to show you this just as an example though because it's actually perfect for your situation okay the pods in the back let me see if I remember what you told me the pods in the back are for exercise and the ones in the middle are for relaxing. And the ones in the front are just everyday movement. That is so wonderful. It's almost like this system was made for you, Florbo. So we're going to open this up. See, it opens up like this. And you can see the three-step system right here. I'm going to explain them to you. Step number one, you can see these little inserts here. These are strengtheners that will improve your foot alignment. Uh, they are designed to exercise and strengthen the muscles, tendons, and ligaments of the feet, repositioning them to their optimal position. These arch supports help to alleviate foot pain and improve balance and skeletal alignment. Well, I would imagine even if you don't have a skeleton, it would probably still be good for your posture. Yes. Slouching is fashionable where you come from interesting well if you're going to live here on earth you, you, you want to be slouching around you want to stand up nice and straight okay then we have set two right here these are the maintainers right here maintaining foot alignment and we recommend these for exercise any kind of 
uh, physical activity. They focus on maintaining the arch infrastructure that the strengtheners may have established. Their moderately aggressive support is designed to provide all day comfort and pain relief benefits. So that's the second set. And then we have set three. These are the relaxers. Foot freedom, the healthy way. They are uh, designed to do just what their name implies. They offer a rest period from the alignment work provided by the other arch supports, all the while continuing to support the arches of the foot, or the pod in your case. And you see how these are made? They do look like human feet. They almost look like little footprints, don't they? These were specially designed for human feet, but don't worry because we do design them for, for anyone. They are designed for anyone. So you open it up even further and you have your three supports in here. I'm gonna show them to you. And again, keep in mind, if you do decide to go with the system, yours will be shaped very differently because of course your pods are not shaped like human feet. And that's okay, that's okay. Here we have the first set. Now these are the strengtheners. Now these are not going to be like any other inserts you've seen. Well, possibly. You hear that? These are quite firm and you can see that they have this support right here and this nice heel cup right here. Feel that. Mm. I don't know if Funo would be would appreciate being compared to an insert, but I won't tell her you said that. She feels like that, huh? Okay, maybe that's information I don't need. <laughs> you can see that it has this little design in there like this. So feel that. See how firm that is? Yeah, well, I, so you can use your second mouth to move it. It's okay. Yeah, very nice. Oh, now you got a little bit of what is that? Oh, ugh, okay. Stardust. Oh, I got it. I got it. So that's the first set. Those are the strengtheners. They are the most intense of all three. You open the second tab and you find the second pair right here. These are the maintainers. I always laugh and say it sounds like the name of a band. Now these are made differently. As you can see, they actually feel like they are, they are firmer. These are actually more firm. They're very rigid, but they're made very differently. See that? And you can see they have these little stripes on them, these little ridges right here. So these are ones, what kind of, what kind of exercises do you do? calories do you burn when you teleport? That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. And then you do weight training by lifting your tail. Well, it's good to use your own body weight. You know, there are a lot of great exercises using your own body weight. Yeah, humans do that too. Yeah, we don't have a, a great big long tail like that to work with, but there are plenty of great body weight exercises. Some of them might work for you too if you're interested. Have you thought about joining a gym? Well, Planet Fitness would be the obvious choice. I mean, you know, everybody on the planet goes there, and then we have other planets that go there. In fact, I heard they're changing their name to Interplanetary Fitness to make it, you know, so, to encourage more to come. We you know from coming from outer space, they come and join, and sometimes they have these uh, specials where, depending on the different parts of the galaxy you're from, you might even get a discount. Look at that. And then we have the relaxers. These are the relaxers. Now these are the most chill of all the inserts. They are a bit more flexible. They look very similar to the maintainers, but they are made a little bit differently. You will tell a big difference when you put this into a shoe. It feels very different. It actually feels really good. So what kinds of um, problems are you having with your pods? And we really should have gone over that in the beginning. But what kind of problems are you having? Pain in the back. Okay. Is it when you have to stand a lot? Mm-hmm. I'm very familiar with that. Yes. Well, I think these would be a big help to you. Now, let me 
me tell you, if you decide to go with this system, we do provide a chart that will show you the ideal way to become accustomed to your new inserts. You can't just, you don't want to go right into wearing these all the time. You can experience cramping and arch pain. So let me show you that chart. Now here's the chart that I want to show you. We have a suggested adjustment schedule. And here we have the three different colors. This sort of a yellowish color, that's the strengthener. The green is the maintainer. And the blue is the relaxer. Now the relaxer, you can see even from day one, you can wear the relaxer as long as you want to. But when you start out on day one with the strengthener, you only want to wear that for 20 to 30 minutes. Because it is pretty intense when you first start. And then you go into the maintainer uh, that you wear for 40 to 60 minutes the first day. Now, are you going to be able to switch these out? Um, do you, what kind of work do you do? Huh. Now, I would not have pegged you as a construction worker. That's interesting. Are you working on anything in this area? Hmm. I, I, it's nothing personal, but I don't see why we need another car wash. We already have car washes everywhere. Where are they building this one? Isn't there one literally right across the street from there? Okay, wow. Well, what is it with all the car washes? I know, it's crazy. So that, okay, well that's, would you be able to swap these out though? Like take a quick break. You can swap them out very quickly and I'm going to show you how that works. And then like day two, you go to 40 to 60 minutes of the strengthener, 90 minutes of the maintainer. And so you'll see all the way up to the 15th day that it increases day by day. And by the time you get to the ninth day, you can wear the maintainer as long as you want. And of course the relaxer, you can wear as long as you want the, you know, from day one, the entire time. And then when you get down to the 15th day, you can wear the strengthener for up to eight hours. So that might be like a regular work day. You could wear it all day. And then maybe later on you could wear the maintainer. Like if you're going to do some exercising or if you're just going to go home and relax, you could just put in the relaxer. But you do have to remember to swap out your, ins your inserts. So these are the suggested instructions for um, after the adjustment period down here. Um, the goal is to eventually interchange your art supports throughout the week. For example, you could wear the strengthener three to four days a week, the maintainer three to four days a week, and the relaxer in a shoe you wear around your home. So you could actually just leave the relaxers in a pair of slippers or, you know, just something that you might wear at home. Yeah. So do you, uh, do you ever use all of your pods at once? Only when you do a happy dance. I like that. I like that. Well, in that case, you know, you could wear all three of them at once if you wanted to. Yeah, we might have to get some extra shoes though. <laughs> okay, so let me show you how this works again. Okay, so we'd say, say this is your shoe. Say we have some shoes for you. You want to just reach in and pop the insole out. Grab it. Take it out just like that. Okay, so and again for each one you're going to have one of our special insoles this little bit here for the big toe. And again, this is the arch strengthener. We're not going to put, well, let's see, actually we'll go ahead and put this in first. So we take it like this, insert it into the shoe. Very easy. Get that in there. Now, yes, we are going to do that. So let's say you wanted to go with Which one should we put in there? The relaxer. Very nice. Say we had the relaxer. First you want to make sure you have the right one. This is the left one. You want to make sure you put the right one in the right shoe. The correct one in the correct shoe. So this one is for this shoe. All right. You're going to reach in there where you put in the insole. Lift it up like this. Take your insert. It's going to go under what we just put in there. So it's going to go under that. There. So you're actually going, your foot is going to rest on the 
padded insole so your foot doesn't have to sit on that hard plastic. You have that insole between the hard plastic and your foot. Your pod, sorry. <laughs> so that way it's going to be very comfortable for your foot and it's not going to be directly on that hard insert. So as you can see, it fits nice and snug in there, especially since we've already taken out the insole that was in the shoe to start with. So it's gonna make it sit nice and low so your foot's not gonna feel all crowded in your shoe. It's not gonna be all thick and weird. You know, a lot of the inserts that you buy in the store can be really thick sometimes, and it just makes your foot feel crowded in your shoe. These really aren't gonna do that. So. That's wonderful. Okay. Now if you do decide to take this, let me show you. We do give you some things with it. You're going to get some extra inserts right here. And I would say for you, of course for you, we have the special ones. I have to special order those. Yeah. Um, those, well, those, those come all the way from Venus, yeah, um, and we're going to get those in soon. And we can also cut some to fit if needed. But these inserts are great, so you're going to get extra. We're going to give you three pairs of inserts in addition to a fourth pair that we're providing for free this week as a special. And you're also going to get that Velcro that I mentioned. Okay, yes. So we can offer you all of that today for the low, low price of 137 space bucks. So how does that sound? Does that sound good? Wonderful. Wonderful. That's great. So are you interested in the entire system? Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Let me put in your payment information and we will get you all squared away. Wonderful. So are you using a card today? Okay. If you would just insert it into the little, yeah, right there. Okay. I'm going to put in 137. Okay. Does all the information appear to be correct on the screen? If it just hit yes for me right there. Yeah, right there. Okay. And I'm going to approve the charge. I'm going to print your receipt. Put that right here. And I have your receipt here that is going to show everything for you. This is detailed and it shows your system and your essential bundle here and your inserts and your special Velcro. Now, do you want to go with just the Velcro or are you interested in maybe trying some shoes? If you want to, that would be fine. I will get everything bagged up for you, and uh, and you can actually go down there and check it out. Oh, I think she's going to be very surprised. I think Funo is going to love it. I think I think she's going to be very happy that she came by. Once we have your your inserts made to fit the prints that we have for you today and the dimensions that I have in the system, you will come back. And I will be giving you everything in a nice little bundle right here. We have our nice bag. And you will receive a system that looks just like this. But of course it will have your inserts in it. It won't be the human ones, no. <laughs> we are going to go ahead and give you the Velcro. Just in case you ever want to do without the shoes. And like I said, we have this custom Velcro adhesive. The adhesive on the Velcro. Which will work even if... If you have plasma or any kind of thing on your feet, it will be totally fine. It will still stick. Do use the hydrogen peroxide though. Does that make your skin boil? No. Okay. And I'm going to get the pustules there in just a minute. And we're going to give you four pairs of these. We'll do the three and one that you can wear out of the store that day. Yes. And as a special surprise, I'm going to put so I would also have your receipt, but I want you to hang on to this, okay? Now, I know from the Fenrobi Nebula, you guys love your snacks. I want to give you a snack. Now, don't tell anybody I gave you this because I 
if everybody knew I had these snacks, like my coworkers would be eating them up. But I know you guys love your crunchy snacks, so I'm going to give you a snack to nibble on on the way to the shoe store. Yes, these are delicious. These, these came all the way from a specialty store called Dollar Tree. Now don't tell anybody that I gave you this, okay? You, you stick that in one of your folds down there, okay? Don't tell anybody. And a snack for the road. Can you, can you fit that in an orifice anywhere? That it won't, I don't want it to get slimy before you get a chance to eat. Oh, just eat it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, you have an appetite. Okay. <laughs> wow, Florvo, you, you are, you're funny. It has been a real pleasure meeting you today and working with you today. Is there anything else I can help you with before I remove the, the pustules down there? And we'll get you on your way. Okay, well, when you come in, you will be receiving something just like this with all of your goodies in it. All right, quickly, I'm going to grab my pen. I'm going to pop these for you. I do apologize for making you break out in a rash. Is it human touch? Is it the oils in our skin? Yeah, I'm sorry. I won't touch you anymore. I'm just popping these pustules really quick, and I'm going to wipe that up. Um, I have a mop. I can get the rest of that with a mop. Yeah, okay. So, okay, wonderful floor boat. It, again, it was a pleasure. I don't want to shake anything because I don't want to pop any, any more of those. But, yeah, thank you for stopping by, and we will let you know. Yes, we will be in touch, and we will let you know when your inserts are ready. I would say give it uh, seven business days. Yeah, we have to wait for them to come back from the international, the, the intergalactic transport. So, yeah, sometimes, yeah, it's been really backed up lately. You know, the like the meteor showers and, oh my God, I know. Like the slee stacks, they've been out of control lately. So, had a lot of supply chain issues, and that's a long chain on that intergalactic transport. Yes, it is. Thank you again, Forbo, so much. I hope you have great luck at the intergalactic shoe store, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon.